Hola, hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning a diva. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today and Merry Vlogmas day four. No, it's day five, day five, Merry Vlogmas. That's right, I'm one day behind, so I'm thinking of actually uploading four videos today because I filmed three for Vlogmas Day 4 and then this one is going to be for Vlogmas Day 5. I hope you all have been enjoying all of the videos from me. It's been a lot of work, <laughs> Woo! but um, I'm having a blast. I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun and I'm excited to see what else the month brings. Also, don't you just love my sweater? I got this at my Goodwill for maybe six dollars and it makes me feel like just a big cup of rainbow sherbet Ugh, i love it it's so warm and fuzzy to hand knit i love like the knit texture of um like a good hand knit sweater oh amazing anyways i'm here with an exciting video um i am going to review the new happy planner winter release the undated winter release that just dropped on monday i'm really excited about it i love reviewing um the happy planner releases i really wanted to do the fall release and i just kind of time got away from me i never did it and then before i knew it you know months had passed and so i'm excited that i'm actually kind of um on time for this release it released yesterday and i'm reviewing it today also um go check out my girl sailorette plans jess at sailorette plans i just watched her happy planner winter release review video her thoughts on all of the releases i love her videos so inspiring what a lovely lady I'm gonna link her channel down below. If you haven't checked her out, please go check her out and show her some love. Anyways, I watched her review video and it really got me into the mood to, to get my ish together and get this review out. So we're gonna review the new Happy Planner winter release. I am on the website right now. I have my laptop right here in front of me. Let me know if y'all are gonna get anything from this release. I would love to know. So without further ado, let's get to it. And I think from what I've gathered, the winter release is usually an undated release and it's usually smaller than their fall or spring release. So we don't have that many products to go over, which is great. This video won't be that long. So let's start off with the first couple of items here um, on the list. And I think I'm gonna go in collections. I won't go item by item because that would take forever. I'll go by collections. So the first, collection they have is the gathered flowers collection and there's an undated dashboard layout planner um, a 12-month planner and it has a nice frosted cover on it and there's also a sticker book i am going to pass on both of these i'm not super convinced by the frosted covers i think they do look pretty but they're just not something i gravitate towards I also find that the frosted cover feels a little more flimsy than the laminated ones it is a beautiful cover, but like I've said time and time again, I'm a little bit over the florals. Or I shouldn't say it like that. I think I should say I have enough floral stuff to last me a lifetime, and so I don't feel like I really need to get more floral things. And also florals aren't my number one aesthetic. We are very pretty and I do have some lovely floral items, but I'm going to pass on these. The next planner is a one-off. There's just one item in this collection. This is the undated Canyon Sunrise Happy Planner. It's a classic horizontal and it's a 12-month planner. And this thing is drop dead gorgeous. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I needed to have it. It's so beautiful. I'm envisioning this as either a faith planner or a wellness planner. Although I'm kind of leaning towards it being a wellness planner. But then I'm also torn because I would love for it to be a faith planner. And I also see this as potentially, you know, switching up the cover of my current grimoire and using the, this as the cover of my grimoire. So I'm seeing multiple uses from this planner. And for that reason, it really just spoke to my soul. And so I think I am going to get this planner. I just really love those pastels. You know me. Oh, so soft and beautiful. It feels very new agey as well. It feels very 
pink witch aesthetic, which is definitely my aesthetic. And I love the full moon on the cover and the foiled letters. I love the dreamy quality of it. I love the, I think those are like light purple glitter discs. Beautiful. The next collection is Feathers and Flowers, and this is a really beautiful collection. There are three items in here. There's a sticker book, there's a classic vertical planner, it's a 12-month planner, and then a large sticker book. And the cover of the planner looks gorgeous. I love when they have like a black planner and then these bright, beautiful florals on it. I feel like they did something similar with the Grounded Magic Planner that came out in the fall release. These are gorgeous, but I think I'm going to pass on these for the same reason that I will pass on the Gathered Flowers planners and sticker books. I have a lot of flowers already in my stickers and my planners I don't need anymore. And again, it's not my number one aesthetic. Okay, the next two items. This is the Seeds of Joy collection. We have an undated dashboard 12-month planner and then a sticker book. And this one also seems florally. So, so I am a little bit surprised that they have so many floral items in this release, but I feel like maybe that's just their MO, you know, that's their signature brand. Maybe that's what sells the most for them. I don't know, but they seem to have an incentive to do a lot of florals. The Seeds of Joy Happy Planner, the planner cover is really gorgeous. I do really like that cover. I like how it's a little bit more of a vintage style of depiction of flowers and I love how it's on that like pastel pink to pastel blue backdrop. That is gorgeous, but I can admire it without purchasing it. So again, I'm going to pass on these. Okay, and then there are a lot of guided journals in this release, which is interesting. That's really fun. So we have two uh, guided journals, and these are the Ditsies. We have the classic Ditsies, which has a beautiful yellow cover um, with white floral outlines on it. And then we have the bold Ditsies, which is a really similar cover, but instead of it being yellow, it's a white backdrop. And then the flowers are different pastel colors, and then we have some black outlining as well. So the yellow one is the classic Ditsies, and then the colorful one is the bold Ditsies. And the yellow classic Ditsies is the guided mood journal, and then the bold Ditsies is the guided goals journal. I actually just got a guided goals journal in one of the mystery bags that I got from the Happy Planner during the Cyber Monday sale, so I don't think I will get another guided goals journal. The guided mood journal looks interesting. I think the prompts are a little bit more wellness and mood related, but I think it's very similar to the self-care guided journal from the last year Black Friday self-care bundle. So I think I'm going to pass on both of these. If the cover of the bold ditzies was for the guided mood journal, I think I might get it. But because the bold ditzies is the goals journal, um, I would rather have the guided mood journal and then the cover of the bold ditzies on that. And then that would be the best of both worlds for me. But, but because they're the way they are, I, I just can't justify it. But I do really like the bold ditzies cover. That's an A plus cover for me. And then we have the Bold Hope Classic Guided Gratitude Journal. I really like the cover on this. I like the beautiful large polka dots, super cute. And I love the pink discs on this. I actually think I'm going to maybe pick this up. I have it added to my cart. And the reason I have it added to my cart is because it is the third item in this entire collection that I like the most. So there are three items here that I really like. The first is the classic Canyon Sunrise Planner that I just talked about. The second is the next item I'm gonna talk about. And then the third is this Bold Hope Classic Guided Gratitude Journal. And I kind of want to buy enough to get the 15% off coupon. And I just need like one more thing to make it there. So it is in my cart right now. We'll think about it though. At the end of the video, I will check out <laughs> and then decide what I want to do. Okay, so the next item I want, this is the second item that I am interested in of the entire collection. I really am interested in only like three items from this collection. And this is the Bold Simplicity Classic Guided Budget Journal. First off, the cover is gorgeous. I love it. 
I love the alternating pink and white boxes, the yellow flowers, beautiful. And I really like this budget journal. I've never had a guided budget, budget journal and I'm actually thinking of using a guided budget journal instead of a full-on budget planner because I really think I'm going to use a guided journal more so than the full planner. So this is in my cart. I'm really excited about that guided budget journal. And then we have the Bold Blossoms Guided Faith Journal. I'm not a huge fan of this cover. I do like the pink discs, but I don't think a guided faith journal really fits into my lineup or into my lifestyle right now. Having a faith planner is enough for me, so I think I'm going to pass on this. And then there's the Bold Tiles Classic Guided Fitness Journal. The planner cover is fine. I'm not a huge fan of it, although it is in that same color scheme as the Bold Simplicity and the Bold Hope and the Bold Ditsies. But I don't think I need a fitness journal, a guided fitness journal. I have a fitness planner and that I think is enough for me right now. Although I am thinking of incorporating my guided goals journal that I just got in my mystery bag into my fitness planning. So I'll have a fitness planner and a guided goals journal. So skipping on the guided fitness journal, and then we have the homespun sticker duo. We have a large value pack of the homespun stickers and then a regular size homespun sticker book. These are cute. I might pick one up if I see one in stores at some point. It kind of reminds me of the bold tile sticker books, except these colors are a lot more muted. They're not as bold. The prints are very much like textile inspired, I feel. And they're really pretty. They look really pretty, but I don't think I need them. I'm not that interested in them. I have already way too many stickers, so I only really want to pick up items that really, really speak to my heart and my soul. And these do not, so I am skipping on those. Next is Everybody's Business um, Happy Planner. There's a classic productivity layout, 12 months. And this apparently is a new layout. And there's also a sticker book. Let me look at this supposedly new layout because I thought that this was um, just the hourly layout. Am I crazy? I feel like the productivity layout is the hourly layout. Okay, so this one I was a little bit intrigued about because I was, you know, thinking about potentially getting into an hourly planner, but I don't think I will get this planner. I am interested in the productivity layout, but I don't like this planner. The cover is fine. I think I could get behind the cover. I don't really like the dividers. And I really feel like I have to really love a planner like front to cover for me to get it at this point because I already have so much happy planner stuff. And the sticker book is fine. Again, it doesn't really speak to me. I don't really like the colors that much in, in, the, in the sticker book. So I'm, I'm not super interested in it. Okay, next we have the big dollar energy stuff. And this is a budget planner, uh, a 12 month budget planner and a sticker book. And I am not a big fan of this. If I was going to get a budget planner, it would be the one that came out in the fall release. This one, I am not a huge fan of. I don't really like the cover. I do like the rainbow discs, the different color discs. And I don't like the dividers on this one. There's two. I don't really like the squigglies. Um, they have a lot of squiggly art in the dividers and I'm not a huge fan of that. The sticker book does look more interesting to me. It looks functional. There's some fun quotes, some nice boxes, but nothing that I'm going to run out and get. I already have a lot of budget sticker books as well, so I don't think I need this. The Undated Fitness All Stars Happy Planner is next here. And I think this has a frosted cover, so already I'm not super intrigued. It has the classic fitness layout and I don't really like the dividers, honestly. I do kind of like the uh, the little, what are they? They're like little circle people. They have these super cute circle people that are like working out and like flexing and jumping rope. It is kind of cute. I do like the little circle people, but I don't like anything else. I don't really like the colors as well. Same with the sticker book. I don't really like the cover, the colors, so I'm not super interested in it. 
Next, we have the undated New Aura Happy Planner. It's a wellness layout, 12 months, and then there's a sticker book. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the art. I'm not a huge fan of this like really abstract kind of diffused ink style art. I think the mod sticker book was had a similar vibe to it and I wasn't a fan of that either. Okay, I think the sticker book looks a little bit better. Um, I think I could get behind like that diffused ink art in like small sticker form as compared to having like a whole planner with that art, but I still wouldn't get either of these. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay, next we have the whole wedding line, which is fantastic that they're coming out with all this wedding stuff. I'm sure that people who want to plan a wedding might find this, you know, helpful. There is a wedding happy planner, big wedding layout. It's a 12 month layout. We have a sticker book, the Blooming Romance sticker book. We have a big happy memory keeping wedding photo journal. That would be really nice as a gift, maybe. And then there is a notebook, a dot grid and checklist pages notebook. We also have the Blooming Elegance line. So we have Blooming Romance and Blooming Elegance line. We have a photo journal, a sticker book, a big notebook. So we have seven items between the Blooming Romance and the Blooming Elegance wedding collections. I'm not getting any of this. I don't think I would have an actual wedding. Me and Steven have been talking about it a little bit since we are definitely getting closer to that stage of our lives. And I used to think I wanted a, a massive wedding. And as the years have gone by, I've definitely felt that need cooling down to the point where I think I would be fine not having a wedding at all. Maybe just like a little ceremony with like five people on the beach or something, or like in a national park. I think that would be fine. <laughs> okay, and then we have some snap-in page protectors. I'm excited to see these. We have three sizes, the big, the classic, and the mini. I think these are items that the Happy Planner really has been like due to come out with. I think these are going to be great like everyday multi-use items. So I'm excited to see that the Happy Planner has come out with these. I feel like I will want to pick up some of these at some point. Not right now. I don't think I, I have the need to pick up these right now, but it's nice to know that they are now available in case I ever want to use snap-in page protectors. And then we have um, the Colorful Creatures Baby collection. We have a photo journal, a sticker book. That is super cute. These are like baby specific perfect for new parents. I don't have a young child right now, so I think I'm going to pass on these. I don't think I would even get them just for like the the stickers that I can use that aren't specific to, you know, a baby. I am just not super drawn to them, so I think I'm going to skip on those. And then we have a little love baby, and there are three items in this. We have a classic happy memory keeping photo journal, I do really like the cover of this, but it, I think it's a frosted cover and I'm not a huge fan of that. It is pretty though. And then we have the Little Love Baby sticker book um, and it comes in both a classic and a big size. I think I'm going to skip on all of these baby things, including the Beloved Butterflies line and the Butterflies and Blooms baby line. But I'm happy that they're coming out with these items for new parents, for anyone who has a baby in their life. I am glad that these are there for them. And they're really cute. The cover of the Beloved Butterflies planner is very pretty, but I don't think I would get that myself. And then we have the Undated Pressed and Painted Frosted Happy Planner. It's a classic vertical layout, 12 months. And this is an easy pass for me. I don't like the cover. I don't like the dividers. I don't like the frosted cover. And I don't need a classic vertical planner. I have way too many already. And the sticker book, the same thing. I'm not a huge fan of the colors in this. So I'm going to skip on this. And I think that might be it. We have the Bridgerton Be Happy box as well here on the page, like of the new stuff. I'm not super drawn to this either. I haven't watched Bridgerton. I've heard a lot of good things about it and maybe eventually I'll get around to watching it, but right now I haven't watched it so I, I don't really connect with any of the items in this or with this box in general. It does look pretty, but 
Uh, I think the major thing for me is the fro the classic size notebook and I don't really like the cover of it. Even though it is very pink, I don't really like the cover of it. And it has a frosted cover, so that is an automatic no for me. Okay, that is the entire collection. So let me see what I have in my cart right now. So I have the Undated Canyon Sunrise Happy Planner, the Bold Simplicity Classic Guided Budget Journal, and the Bold Hope Classic Guided Gratitude Journal. And I'm at $69. Oh, I think I need 75 to get 15% off. I wonder if the discount would um, count for like shipping and tax. Let's try. It doesn't count. Okay, if I had to buy one more thing to get the 15% off, what would I get? Maybe the Bold Ditsies Guided Goals Journal. Okay, let's see how much it costs after applying the 15% discount. Okay, so with those four items, the Bold Ditsies Classic Guided Goals Journal, the Bold Hope Classic Guided Gratitude Journal, the Bold Simplicity Classic Guided Budget Journal, and the Undated Canyon Sunrise Happy Planner, it would be $89.96. And then with the discount, it's almost $14 off. And then with ta taxes and shipping, it's $90. Okay, at that point, I think I might just get rid of the Bold Ditsies Planner and the Bold Hope classic guided gratitude journal and then just get the undated canyon sunrise happy planner and the bold simplicity classic guided budget journal and then between those two items it's fifty dollars and then plus shipping and tax we're looking at 61.80 i wish i could use my happy planner rewards do you want to hear a nightmare story i completely forgot about happy rewards and I've been shopping Happy Planner for years. I just, I never got into the habit of using them. And so I just finally checked my rewards history a few days ago. And I saw that I had 1500 points expire this year, earlier this year, because I just never ever used them. 1500 points expired. So right now I have 405 points, but for some reason, I don't know how to apply the points to my cart. I've tried looking it up, figuring it out, I can't do it. So I think I'm just gonna add a Happy Planner tote bag, a super cute, um, this is the one with the discs on it. I'm gonna add that to my cart and get it for free. I'll redeem 200 of my points for this. Okay, and that's it. That was the entire Happy Planner winter release. I've placed my order, I got two things, and then I redeemed some points for the canvas tote. So I got that one for free. Really, really fun collection. It was small, but it was cute. We saw the wedding line, the baby lines come out. So that's exciting to see new, different types of things from the Happy Planner. I am really, really happy with my two purchases. I think they are exactly what I need for my 2024 planner lineup, which is coming soon. And honestly, y'all, I think in the new year, I'm gonna try to go again on a happy planner no buy because I tried going on a no buy this year and it went okay. Definitely the first half of the year, I was a lot better than the second half of the year. So maybe for 2024, I'll try to do the full year this time. Although honestly, I'm thinking of doing a happy planner low buy just to kind of like ease myself into it and just allow myself a little bit of wiggle room. And um, I'll let myself pick out one or two things per major release. Oh, and also I think I would let myself get the mystery bags on Black Friday just because I love those so much. But I think it would be fun to just pick out one or two items per major release, review them, do a video on them, and then just pick out those two items. I think that would be fun. So that way it really just forces me to pick the things that I absolutely love the absolute most. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you picked up anything from this latest winter release. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. God bless you and your family. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you manana. Bye, guys.